Talking like Sarah said about a pivotal moment. Uh, I was an Ega student not even that long ago, from 2010 to 2015. Um, to be honest, when I was in school, I was the weird kid in school. I was the one that you were worried about, the one you didn't talk to. Yeah, this was me. Have you got more photos? Yeah. That's, that's who I was in school. People didn't really talk to me much. I kind of stayed to myself. It's pretty funny in hindsight. But yeah, this wasn't for any fault of my own, though, because I had something called ADHD. This means that I kind of can't focus very well. It means I'm very hyperactive. And it means that I can do things impulsively, which led to kind of the photos you just saw. I also have something called autism. Autism is basically kind of clinical, medical, social awkwardness. So if any of you guys think you're socially awkward, imagine being medically awkward. So imagine a world where I kind of can't read facial expressions, and I can't sense tone, and I don't know how to talk to people. You mix that with lots of kind of hyperactivity, that's a weird child. So people kind of kept their distance from me overall. And my main point about this is, when I was in Eggers, I had no clue what I wanted to do with my future. None at all. I didn't know where life was going after school, because school was every single day. And I'm only bringing this up to tell you that that's, that's okay. If you don't know what you're doing once you leave, that's fine. There's no real rush to figure that out, because I didn't know. It's okay. Um, if you're worried about what people think of you, or, or the only thing that matters right now is, is the hot gossip that's going through your year, or kind of, it's all about if you're being bullied or anything, I just want to tell you that it doesn't really matter. If you're kind of worried about maybe what your sexuality is, if you don't know what kind of gender you identify, and you're kind of uncomfortable in your own body, that's okay. There's no rush to kind of figure this stuff out. It doesn't matter because you'll live a long life and you'll figure this stuff out in the next couple of years. There's no rush to figure this stuff out right now. Socially speaking, are all your friends right now, you know, I don't know how many of them you're going to talk to once you leave school. I only talk to one person now that I spoke to in school. I talked to like two or three others, but in terms of friends that I'm still friends with today, I'm only friends with one singular person who I was friends with in secondary school. So we're not forced to be around each other every day you'll be surprised at you know, how long those friendships will last. So it doesn't matter right now. The people in your life right now, they might not be in your life in like six years to come. So don't take everything so seriously. I personally never cared in class. You know, subjects like geography, like music, like uh, food tech, wood tech, I didn't care about these subjects and I didn't really listen to them. Um, it's not for me, I don't like it. So I you know, probably played up. Uh, in hindsight, because hindsight's always 20-20, I really wish I did more, because I can't go to school now like you guys can. And the great thing about having these classes is you just learn new things. You get to kind of become a more developed person, you get to be more world-weary. And I really feel like I took that for granted. Now, you know, you, there's stuff you're interested in and there's stuff you're not interested in. But really think twice and kind of take advantage of the fact that you have this time to go to these classes, to learn this stuff, even if it doesn't interest you. Because it makes you a more intelligent and kind of better person, and I really didn't realize that until long after I finished school. So, because these classes aren't going to be around for your whole life, it's gone when you leave, and there's no going back, so you might as well make the most of it. That's my point. I say this because I didn't like music, I didn't like geography, I didn't like any of this stuff, but you know what I did like? I like Netflix, I like media. Can I get a show of hands? How many of you are going to watch some Netflix when you get home? Anybody? Yeah, come, yeah, that's a lot of you. Uh, me too. I know that while I didn't like my school subjects, I loved film, I loved TV, I loved magazines. And I knew that this kind of celebrity world where stuff is created, that's a world in which my weaknesses, you know, the weirdness, the social awkwardness, the hyperactivity, that's a world where that stuff would be a strength. Whereas you put that kid from those photos into an office job, he's going to get fired because he's weird. But in like the world of the media, I need to stand out, I'm independent, I, and I would thrive that way. So. Here's my pivotal moment. When I was in like year nine or so in 2013, uh, I graciously asked Eggers if they would let me go to Emory Hill down the road and take uh, one of their media courses. This was a very difficult thing for me and there was also legality that had to be sorted out and it was a very tough time, but thankfully they said yes and they let me. Honestly, I think they just wanted to get rid of me for one day of the week and I don't, I don't blame them for that, but 
you know, so when I was in like year nine or so, I went to Amory once and twice a week and I took a, a course over there. Uh, this is when I started making films. And I want to tell you that I got hooked. Now these films aren't good, they are terrible, horrendous, embarrassing, but I was doing something that I really loved and cared about. And it kind of taught me that if you have a subject that really connects with you, it, it might be something you want to do for the rest of your life. And once you actually have that commitment to your studies, you're going to go far, because it's not school, it's something you actively want to do. So when I left school, I went to Alton College in 2015. It's now called HSTC Alton, it's also just down the road. I took a further media course, course here, it was about two years. I would have had to do three years, but because I did the Amory course, it was only two years for me. Here at college, I made all sorts of things, like adverts, like short films, documentaries, kind of stuff like that. And I got to develop my skills, and I really started to enjoy myself. I realized that this is kind of what I want to do for the rest of my life. And, you know, when they treat you more like an adult in college and you're doing stuff you like, you'll be shocked at how happy a person you'll be. It was around this time that I calmed down a little bit and stopped being such a massive freak, for the most part. But, um, yeah, I got more confident in myself, and stuff I was making actually started to get a little bit better. It's still not good by any means, but I was getting more happy with myself, and my drive was getting better because I truly loved what I was doing, what I was studying. Around 2017 or so, when I was finishing my time at HSDC Alton, I cut off that god-awful long hair, moved out of my parents' place, and decided to move to Farnham, where I took my current venture at the University of the Creative Arts, also known as Farnham Film School. So now I'm going with filmmaking further, and I'm going to do a four-year course here with the possibility of doing a master's in 2021-2022. Um, you know, why? Why Farnham UCA? Because it has such good alumni as, you know, Gareth Edwards, the director of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. If the director of a Star Wars movie went to a film school, that's a good film school to go to. But it also brought us Mark Baker. Who's he? He's the creator of Peppa Pig. So a good, a good university, in my opinion. Why I love uni? Well, in school it's always, you know, you, 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 you try so hard to fit in and you're not sure about who you are and there's all this drama and all this stuff. In uni, this stuff just doesn't matter. It really doesn't. The thing I've realized is that uni, everyone is weird. And you can just be your truly best self. And people love it. And an idea where you can just be you and you don't have to worry about <coughs> judgment or people being rude and everyone is just cool with each other, it's a great time. Honestly, you'll be shocked at how much happier you'll be when A, you're surrounded by like-minded people, and B, you're only studying things that you're passionate with. Since then, I filmed a film in about two weeks about street performing. Uh, you know, a company in Spain called Black Line Productions are interested in buying this off me and putting it in festivals everywhere. That's really exciting. Hell, this film I'm also making right now, that's filming kind of as we speak in Portsmouth called The Dark Sorcerer, it cost about £14,000, and even Sky are interested in looking at that. I'm only saying this stuff because if you love what you do, and you're passionate about what you do, and you really go for it, you're going to do well. You need to have that kind of conviction. You need to know what you're interested in, and what you're not interested in. But you won't know that unless you really focus on everything around you to kind of grow as a person. The social side of things don't matter because it's kind of contained in a box. Once you've left school, none of it matters. You're in the real world. So you just need to kind of focus on what interests you. What kind of person are you, opposed to trying to fit in with everyone else? See, I believe in myself, and that's why I feel great. That's why I feel unstoppable. That's why I can sell these things at such a young age. Because I'm just trying hard and doing what I want to do. You know, this is how I've gone from the 13-year-old weird child to something some of people take quite seriously in only about five years. It just comes from conviction, and it comes from true passion and hard work. My point of this is, don't waste time, you know. We're students right now, so really kind of focus in your class. The social stuff doesn't matter, but, you know, once you left, you can't take these classes again. And I really feel stupid for not making the most out of my education. And I know how cliche that sounds and how, how terrible that sounds. It sounds like I don't get it, because when you're at school, it feels like it's every day. I remember, it wasn't that long ago, but what I'm saying is really take advantage of the fact that you're here, because I really wish I could go back and I can't. So don't waste that time, learn as much as you can, and just be the best you you can be, as cliche as that sounds, because if you have conviction and you know who you are and what you like, then you just have to trust yourself and you will do really great things. As cliche as that is, that's really, I can't stress this enough, guys. Um, thanks for listening, this was my talk.